Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop on this fine after. Well, let me tell you, partner. She's a blustery old day in the hundred acre wood poo. Old Uncle Leor don't feel like doing fuck all other than looking at the gun safe there, seeing which uh, shotgun to brush my teeth with. I think we all go through that ebb and flow. Hey, it ain't natural to be happy all the time, and holy old fuck, partner. I hope I uh, I can't even stand myself, quite frankly. So, gonna get down here in the shop. Oh, we oui, catch you very much, Eddie. Oh no, it's baby doll. Come on in, baby doll. You gotta watch that homo stuff. Frig sucks. <laughs> what is this? Let, let me save the day. I am... I just want it back. This is my jam right here, peoples. This is my jam. What, uh, what seems to be the nature of the emergency? Well, it doesn't push flour. You don't push flour. All right. My, I'm on it. I had to hand do my... Oh! That's no good. We gotta save that strength for something else. You know what All right, okay, well, we got a project. Fucking A. Patient on the healing bench today, what we got is uh, Ridley Scott, alien abortive kitchen aids architect. What doesn't chooch for chotch. We'll plug her in and see if we got any poor. Morph, low, high. Pulse, oh, okay, pulse. So that seems to be working. Thin, thick. Doesn't seem to. Oh. Okay. We got some strippage. Makes a sense what the client said. Never take anything for granted, especially what the client thinks the problem is. Uh, seeing as she, she says there's a low torque problem and we got a stripped gear, I would say she's onto the right foot. We'll unplug her and get into the meat of her. Not but four bolts holding this whole, hoping prayer to get, uh, four, three bolts holding this. Open a prayer together. Nothing for it, baby ball. We gotta give her a couple apprentice marks here. Get that. We get the basal platen off and see the qualitad of the <laughs> manufacturing sticker. Uh, totally cattywampus. Don't give a fuck. This little thing all cattywampus off to one side. Only three, but 3.5 amps maximum on her. Not too torquey. It is CLU. Uh, Canadian UL listed as well as US made a ABS sewer pla sewer grade plastic. The same stuff they make sewers out of. And not much torque to her. Now the missus she wasn't making dough. She was gonna make a pie on account of chickadee. Uh, she read a book, so we bribe her with homemade treats and occasional. Uh, sour human. Well, her part's done. We already got her disrobed, so we might as well have a sniff. What we got going on here, ground into this casement, which looks like zinc. Some sort of Zamac, not aluminium, but Zamac uh, die, uh, yeah, die casting. And then we got the hot coming into, coming into, what is that? Why is the hot going up there? Oh, it's got to be a, uh, thermostatic switch so if it overheats it turns off and then we got the neutral coming in here into the board we have a fuse what is protected in case it blows up by a uh, fiberglass sleeve we have some input or some some what would you call that protect the grid from extraneous noise a noise reduction capacitors we got a one watt resistor in here we got another big film capacitor looks like a diac and a triac no this is an scr so this is a silicon a silicon controlled rectum fryer that means this is only running on half wave it's not full wave if it had a triac chopping it up it could um you know it would control the speed that way but it would be full wave but chopped up in this case, it's a silicone rectifier, so you can only get but half the wave through. So we're getting we're getting three amps off that half wave, and then we got all kinds of filtering in here, and then what appears to be a breaking resistor, what is actuated by 
that thing, which is a relay. That's an electrical switch, electromagnetic switch. And here's the brains of the operation here, a dip, chip, uh, not much going on other than that on the far side of the board. Of course, there would be some tactile switches, uh, some little capacitors for noise suppression and a couple little diodes. There's also R1, which is a shunt resistor in order for this guy to measure how much current is going to the motor. Really not that much to it as well. This guy here. Okay, so this is your speed control. If we have a look at this, you will see that this magnet is segmented. This is what they call a Hall effect sensor. It is measuring the magnetic field, so it would count pulses, send that back to the confuser. It knows, that's the feedback loop for knowing how fast the thing is actually turning. That controls how much chooch that this silicon control rectifier is putting out to increase the speed or decrease the speed. There's an oddball little mechanical contrivance in here. Crusty or it's frayed. Listen. Ugh. No bearing at all on there. Just bearing directly on that Zamac and making all kinds of racket. Doing some sort of cam action. Some sort of uh, mid, you know. Oh, you know, what's that clockworks? Oh, Switzerland. Geneva. Geneva movement only just on the one side best save some of these fasteners you never know when you're going to need them again i don't believe it's an electrical issue on account of the whole thing is turning off and uh the noise generally that that gear grinding noise is indicative of a non-electrical issue however like they say i didn't give her a tappy tap tap Generally, if the tap to tap tap don't work, your problem is electrical. So it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Oh, look at her. Well, afraid, baby doll, you're gonna go to war. You gotta expect some casualties. Can't bust an omelet without making a few eggs. Uh, I prized on this piton to get her off, and she fucked right off, all right. Now to get this quite sure how well when you don't know how something comes apart you got to find more fasteners or start prying until something breaks but I see two willing victims right here so I'll take these out they might extend the whole way through on account of me pre this this selector I went ahead and just uh, nipped it off so that I could get it sidewards and squeeze it out now here is the sizing selector and it is run by that lever and all it does it's on a what's well, on a very coarse thread form and it just goes uh, to and fro you see there's all kinds of smooth in that bearing but no rust and uh you give a, a whiff to her and she has not had a hard supper of a life well, up until this point anyway, when I took it apart. Oh yeah, also, that switch I said was a thermostatic switch in case it overheated. It's not at all. It's a micro switch. It takes full voltage out of the wall. And unless you are indexed and engaged with the receptacle, it won't energize. So that's a safety interlock switch. Now we're going to get into the gearbox. I have a feeling... We're going to see some chowder. They really don't cotton the interlopers around these parts. Uh, they, they don't seem to want you in there. Surprisingly though, not plastic gears. Little thin metal injection molded gears. So that's not bad. And hardened steel bushings. The uh, truncator or the D style of torque transfer. Uh, here's the gearbox. Of course, uh, the reduction high speed comes in here. Goes through the from the pinion to the bull and then this becomes the pinion to the bull so we get two redu two reductions in there and that drives the main spindle it cuts up your lettuce now the question is I don't see anything wrong with this there's nothing 
that clacking noise, there's nothing in here indicative of something stripped. Not even the size selector. Which leads me to believe that maybe I fucked up. This, oh, what's the first rule of troubleshooting? Do the simplest thing first. What is the simplest thing? Aha. Uh -huh. Push to lock. That's not locked. Push to lock. What does that mean? I don't know either. It seems to be some sort of English. Germanic language mixed with French. But it does not compute. Yeah. I think that thing stripped right out. This is the wink leak of her. Son of a diddly. I'll tell you what though, I will not be buying another one of these anytime soon. The Jesus thing ain't no fucking good for servicing. That's really... Uh, I don't know. It's a consumer good, so they're never... They're always horrific. Changzu Honest Electric Co. Limited. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The old jazz hands routine on the gargler. Of course, you can't buy this $5 part for want of a nail and so forth. You can only buy this part, the meat hook, abortion, 50 bucks in the difference. And of course, it's unfoculated, or this was broke right half and two. Uh, foculated disc, you got to get the bearing, got to get a, a couple little other parts, e replacement, you know, 50 bucks plus the shipping to Canada. So we're we're into 125 bucks here for want of this guy pa so nylon glass fiber in, but you see you see what's going on here so tip to tail you got about five inches maybe even more than that well nine inches if you're talking to your wife and that is all on that center bushing quarter inch shaft and it's just got two flats but the two flats on there Probably be okay until it gets warm. Probably plenty strong. But these things get hotter than a $2 pistol. This loosens up all of a sudden. You got a hole wallered out and she don't work. Right? Very poorly engineered in my opinion. Uh, destined to fail. What do they call it? Planned obsolescence. So, I got to talk to the little miss to see how much she loves this thing. If and she hates the the thing, doesn't like it because she can't do pie crust in it, then uh, I ain't putting her back together because it ain't worth it, quite frankly. Used machine, you got to do cost benefit, right? How much is your time worth? How much is your dicking around worth? How much the parts worth? You know, eh. well for now, we're gonna leave her on the healing bench. And we'll give the give the better three carders a couple days to think about what she wants to do, and we'll go from there. Of course. If she wants me to fix it, I'll fix it. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a face. Also, hey, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully, well, in my experience, hopefully it's not the train coming to meet you. I only got three minutes. Okay, perfect. You, I'm your husband. I only make, I, It'll only take me two. <laughs> so, how much do you love this thing? Because it will never do pie crust very well on account of this coupling you see how small that is that is running the coupling how are you sentimentally like here's the, here's the deal right your husband can fix anything given enough time and money so i just want to know how much this thing means to you and it's never gonna do the job that you need it to do i don't think pie crust like how much how much shredding do you do? Very uh, little. Except well, on the compared, Oh, I was going to say, compared to your husband on the mountain? You're, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Actually, you shred hard. Very I easy. Shred hard. Hot stuff. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so do you love this thing and it's never going to be skookum? Well, I love it, but I don't use it that often. So, best buy anyone. <laughs> okay. We'll do, because we'll be replacing these things. Steady. How, like, how long have you had it? How many pie crusts has it Five gone through? Five years and not that many pie crusts. Yeah, so. Like Garbage. A whole whack of baby food, so I guess that's not nice. Well, we hopefully you don't need any more of that stuff. No. I'm, uh, I'm good. I think there's no more room at the end. I mean, no 
A blessing's a blessing, but no more you know what I'm saying. Puppies only. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Well, you heard the lady. Fucking garbage.